So I notice on uh, some of these YouTube channels, they got a disclaimer. <laughs> I uh, figure after you watch a couple of my videos, I don't need a disclaimer. Uh, I'm not a mechanic. If I, I'm not trying to teach anything. I'm just showing you my struggle of the stuff I do. So, you know, if you think I'm trying to do an educational thing here, you got another thing coming. There's uh, no educational here. There's lots of guys out there know what they're doing. Uh, it's, that's not me. So anyway, disclaimer, I don't think so. Huh. So this was supposed to be my next project going into my work area, which of course you've seen that. It's, uh, it's no more. So this is an 89 Chevy full-time four-wheel drive, there's, meaning there's no hubs. Um, I picked this up as a work truck, real cheap, uh, transmission. Uh, let's see, what was it? it? Went shift in reverse, stuck in first. It's a four-speed granny gear, four-speed. So as you can see, I got my floor jack under there I got the transmission about halfway out and uh, got busy doing firewood hunting season all that kind of stuff then it started snowing and before I could get it in the work area you know it uh it caved in on me so I guess maybe it was a good thing it didn't get put in there so anyway it's uh all right so the first thing I need to get done before anything else is get this truck fixed. Um, give you a video before the show is at all in the snow and everything. Well, it's starting to thaw out. This is where I'm at. So we got the thing tore apart. Let's get in here. Got all tore apart in there. Uh, pulled the transmission away from the bell housing and there just wasn't enough room to get the transmission and transfer case out without pulling the bell housing and that's where this ended up at last year when, uh, when I stopped working on it. I got to that point um, thought I was going to get it in my work area for the winter and get her finished well that didn't happen obviously but here this sets and uh, I think uh, you know I have almost embarrassed to tell you how much I pay for this almost they almost gave it to me, but I'm going to get this thing dug out. We'll get it over to, I think, a, a neighbor shop. They're going to rent it to me for a couple months so I can get this thing going until I can get a shop built. Or another work area that will hold a foot and a half of snow. So anyway, this is... This is the very next project that I'm going to I'm going to be getting on. A, like I said, I got all tore apart half half a tra halfway out of the transmission there. So got to get out, get that transmission fixed. So uh, anyway, that's that's where that's at. Okay, so it's time to get back onto this thing. So between me and the kids, we got it dug out anyway to where you can at least see under it. But as you can tell. You know, there's the jack, there's the rubber mallet, let's see, here's the transmission cross member, stuck in the ice and snow, just kind of walked away from it and didn't look back. Here, I'll give you, now that I can get underneath it here, so it's still, it's just a, there's the, floor jack holding the engine up and I guess the tranny's just hanging there now I see the tranny jack's not on it anymore so let's see there's a wrench I just <laughs> we can uh I just walked away I just didn't get back to it right it was on jack stands and of course you know it's during the rainy season last fall it uh, made the ground all soft so it fell off of those so Anyway, it's time to get her back going, back on this project. So here, here's this impressive Chevy, 1989 Chevy paint. Hey, 
get off the cow. Oh, okay, just a minute. So anyway, this thing should be in primer before too long. It's coming off pretty fast. This isn't uncommon for this stuff. What are you doing, Shadow? So anyway, I'll get this over to the shop and uh, get back on it. Here's all the tools. Just kind of walked away. It makes you kind of wonder what's holding the tranny up. The jack's not on it. Separated from the transfer kit or the bell housing. So yeah, we're get that back in and where I can at least tow it and get back on it. Anyway, procrastination, not a good thing. Now here is embarrassing. So I gotta get, shovel the back of the truck out, get all the snow. I don't wanna take it in the shop and have it drip for a month. But right here, right here is a toolbox. I do see a green tarp. So I did tarp the toolbox, but down underneath that eight inches of icy snow is a toolbox. So how bad is that? Yeah. Yep, here is said toolbox, right here. So, I'm going to get this dug out, and uh, so we'll get a lot less drippage while we're in the shop. Well, so this is what procrastination gets you. Frozen, stuck in the mud. Yeah, it's going to take a while to get this stuff done. Oh well. Yes, it does not pay to procrastinate. Gotta love winter. Well, so here you go. I left my hat under here all winter. It uh, looks like it moldly, molded nicely. Yeah, it's nice and moldy. Yeah, so, you know, I meant to come back and get this done, but... We'll, uh... Get it, everything thawed out and get it drug out of here and over to the shop. Well, uh, so who else thinks this is a bad idea? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, that should work. Yeah, it'll work. Okay, so we'll get this uh, 89 Chevy truck over to the shop and uh, get going on it I uh, got this truck real super cheap and I just can't not live with it not going so we just got the old transmission and stuff hanging there and uh, once I get over to the shop and get a warm place with the concrete floor I'll uh, get this tranny out and we'll get this truck fixed up and and a being a daily driver good work truck this is definitely one of the nice things about living out in the country out in the sticks uh, little itty bitty towns you can just uh, drive your tractor all over the place and, and uh, drag the stuff down the road at four miles an hour okay three three miles an hour and not have to worry about getting in trouble can't do this in the city all right, here we go. Here's the shop. Be working in the next couple months here. It's an actual shop. So, wood stove. We'll get some lighting in here. Get some stuff moved around. This is all their stuff. So, get some stuff out of my way. And, and this can be home sweet home for the next couple months. Wow, concrete floor. Crazy. Alright, we'll get that uh, truck in here and uh, fire going, we'll get going. Okay, so this is where I'm at with this. I tried to pull the transmission without pulling the uh, bell housing. We got the in, uh, transmission unbolted still attached to the transfer case and it bottomed out 
on this here cross member about an inch of coming all the way out so it's <laughs> um, in order not to have to pull the bell housing and deal with the uh, hydraulic clutch pulling the starter and all that and undoing the exhaust I'm going to make it a second attempt and try to unbolt unbolt this uh, uh, transfer case off of the transmission and see if I can't get it to come out in two pieces so uh, I guess I'll give that a try and I'll get back and let you know how I did if it was another fail or what 